All right, so good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to make a special video today. Um, it is for the uh, 300 subscriber giveaway for the Peep Geek, um, his channel. I've been watching it now for a little while, and um, I really enjoy it. There are um, just so many different kind of videos. He has videos for unboxings. He has videos just kind of sharing his day. He has videos for... Um, uh, some trade boxes that he does um, You just check him out. He's got some great videos going on um, But he's also having a giveaway for his 300 um, subscribers and Congratulations on getting that actually. I think he's at 366 right now um, I feel terrible because this is the final day to submit this and we've had a month to do it so um he made a video, I think it was on the 28th, reminding everybody, and I felt like he was talking right at me, saying, you didn't get your submission in yet. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, he had four questions to answer, um, and then there was a fifth. If you could show a hidden talent or something, then you could get like an extra submission. And also, if you refer to friends that you thought would like his channel and everything. So, um, let's go with the first question. Um, what is your favorite non-swear word? Um, and sorry, I look like crap. I just got up uh, a little while ago and had a bowl of cereal and then just ran in here because today's the last day to do my video. And um, as, Paul, uh, as he knows, I am not really good at working with computers, so... I still have to figure out how to put this thing on Gleam after I'm done. So, anyway, the first uh, question is, what is your favorite non-swear word? Um, let's see, I try not to swear, but, you know, some people, sometimes you just get ticked off and you got to. So, um, I would go with frickin', bloody hell, and um, smeghead. Um, I don't know if smeghead is a dirty word, but... Um, sometimes people are being smegheads and you just, just got to call them a smeghead. So, um, the next one is, um, and I don't know if these are in the right order because I watched a later video and, um, I did watch the very, very first one about four weeks ago, but, um, I got my questions off of the second video or the third video. Anyway, um, what food do you hate? Um, and why? Um, I think, you know, I eat almost everything. Um, oh, tapioca pudding. I think it's disgusting. Um, I, nothing really set it off. I've hated it since I was a kid. Um, I just, it's a texture thing. I don't like all the lumps in the pudding. It's pretty gross. And I just, I don't like that. So, um, that would be something I don't like. Um, but nothing kind of set it off. I, I, I'm kind of weird about texture anyway. Um, I love sushi, but if you put a sea urchin, that poofy orange crap in front of me, I, I will throw up. I, it's just, I don't want to see that. Because I know it's going to be all squishy and, and I won't eat it. So, um, And then he wanted to know what was our favorite video and why. And what was our least favorite video and why. So, favorite video of his, um, I really liked the one where he took us on a tour of his house. And um, it was great because he showed three different art projects that he's done. And they came out amazing. Um, but I did let him know the one I liked the most was he painted a picture with just a credit card. So that's pretty awesome. So I liked that one. Um, the one that I liked the least, um, and I probably should put my glasses on. I can't even read my own handwriting this morning. Um, Avenged Sevenfold, Hail to the King. Oh, I remember. It was a, um, he was kind of like at a concert. And you saw him for maybe two seconds going like that and then after that he was gone and he just kind of held the camera out and um you didn't really see him for the rest of the thing and why i love his videos is um he injects so much personality into them and and they make me laugh and um you can tell he's having a good time while he's making them so um although he's like he same with me i do not like to edit at least he knows how to edit i still haven't been able to figure out my editing program so um, most people probably realize that when they start watching all my videos, but I do try. So anyway, um, and the next one was ask a question. So, um, have you always collected stuff or did you start at a certain age, like later on in life? Um, for me, I started collecting comics when I was probably eight or nine. And then I moved on when I was a little older to monster magazines and Fangoria magazines. 
and then um, I had a huge, huge, huge collection. And then I got rid of it when I went into the Navy when I, well, I was signed in. I did my paperwork when I was 16, but I was in the Navy when I was 17, actually like a month after my birthday. Um, but so then I got rid of all my collection and I was very sad about that years later so I started collecting again and I think I've pretty much replaced all of the comics that I had before um, I have like 13 boxes full of comics the comic boxes I've got them packed full and um, but I kind of collect just a little bit of everything if anybody's seen pictures of my home um, I do some of my videos in my library downstairs then they would see I don't really have a fandom I, I kind of collect everything um, and I know a lot of people like buy things and then they increase in value and then they just get rid of them um, to sell them for a profit and buy more things. But um, I kind of buy things and I keep them. So um, that's why I have a storage locker. <laughs> um, and I, my, well, my house is pretty organized, but I do have a lot of stuff around my house too. So, um, so anyway, that was all of the question questions, except he said, do you have any hidden talents? So, um, a couple things I can't show you because I gave them away um, to our Peep Geek. Um, if you look on his wall, there's the um, little Sam doll thing. I made that. And I also made the clock behind him of the um, of the House on Haunted Hill, which was on Turner Classic Movies, which is so funny because we were talking about that. And just like two weeks ago, it was on Turner Classic, so that's a great one. Um, and then I can do anything crafty. So... Um, I knit, so I made these hats. Actually, I've made so many hats, people are just like, they know what they're getting for Christmas if they live in a cold climate, so I make hats. And I can cross stitch. I made this, it's kind of dirty, because my dog uses it on, on the day bed in there. He just lays on it, and so he's kind of made it dirty, but I cross stitched all of that and made that. So, um, I can sculpt, I can knit, so... Um, I love working with wood. Um, there's not really much I can't do. I'm hell with the glue gun. I can, I, you know, there's I, anything crafty I love to do. So, um, I guess that's about it. I think I answered all of the questions. And, um, oh, and then you're going to refer a person and you can get an extra submission. So, I'm going to refer my husband. Um, he started really liking watching these videos after um, the PP posted the trade box that we did that was done on... Um, Joe's House of Horror so that was fun and after he watched that then he watched a couple more so I think he'll really like watching all of them so um, I'm going to refer him and have him subscribe so that'll be my my subscribers so um, anyway you guys subscribe if you haven't um, and I think you'll really like the videos so um, I'm going to sign off and hopefully I can figure out how to post this on Gleam so okay bye bye now